Hello and welcome to Crafting With You, where I bring you a wide range of crafting ideas and tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how to crochet your own dish scrubby using three of the most popular dish scrubby yarns. The first one is the Yarn B Scrubology Scrubby Yarn. The next one is the Red Heart Scrubby Sparkle Yarn. And the last one is the Lion's Brand Stitch, Soak and Scrub Yarn. Please watch till the end as I'll go over the pros and cons of each yarn and which dish scrubby came out on top. So let's get started. I wanted to go over really quickly why I like the shape of this dish scrubber. As you can see, there's a little bit of a lip that comes up. This is so your hand will not slip off the dish scrubber as you're doing your dishes. Also, this area right here is great for getting into the nooks and crannies of bowls and cups. The video might be going a little fast for you when we do the actual crocheting part, so the written pattern can be found in the description box. We're gonna start with the Scrubology Scrub It yarn because of the three yarns, this is actually the easiest one to crochet with. So I like to start by wrapping the yarn around my fingers and then pulling up a loop. If you start your crocheting a totally different way, that's fine too. Start the way you like. Insert your crochet hook into this loop and secure it down. We're gonna do a chain four to begin. So here's one two, three, four. We're gonna use a slip stitch to create a circle like this. So insert your crochet hook into this first loop here, grab the yarn, bring it out, and then slip it through this loop right here. And now you've created a closed circle. We're gonna put 14 double crochets right into that middle right there. So let's start by chaining three. One, two, three. And this will count as your first double crochet. And now we're gonna put 13 more into this middle space right here. Yarn over, put your crochet hook in there, grab the yarn, come back out, yarn over, pull through two loops, Yarn over, pull through two loops. And there you can have your second double crochet. This tail yarn that you had right here, you're going to want to keep it close to the circle as you go, because we're gonna to wanna to crochet over this yarn. Now you're gonna do your third yarn over, go through this middle, grab the yarn, come out, Yarn over, go through two loops. Yarn over, go through two loops. And now you created another double crochet. So now you have three. You're going to want to do 10 more. Oh wait, 14 double crochets, so 11 more. And I'll see you back here at the end. I'm almost done with my 14 double crochets. I just have one left, but I want to give you a couple of tips at this stage. If you find that it's getting way too crowded here, you can always keep pulling like this to give yourself more room. If you find that your tail is getting way too short as you're crocheting around here and it's like a little nub down here, you can always give it a little pull to give yourself a little more there. You can see that I have a stitch marker right here. And that's because after you're done with the 14 double crochets, you're gonna have to close up this this row with a slip stitch like we did with the beginning. Um, and sometimes it's hard to find where the top of your first double crochet is. I use a stitch marker to find it so then I'm not having to, you know, look where is the start and count one, two, three. I know exactly where it is. So let's finish up by doing the last double crochet. So yarn over in here, pull through, pull through two, go through two. So I'm down with 14. We're going to want to slip stitch right into there. So put your crochet hook into there, grab the yarn, come out, and then pull through here. And now you can get rid, oops, whoa, my camera. Now you can get rid of the stitch marker and you have a closed circle. 
for row two, we're gonna put two double crochets in every stitch. So row one, we had 14 stitches. Row two, we're gonna end up with 28. So let's start with chain three. One, two, three, and this will count as your first double crochet. Now we're gonna put our second crochet, double crochet into this little space right there. So yarn over, insert your crochet hook, grab the yarn, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is your second double crochet. Now we're gonna go into the next stitch. So yarn over, stitches right there. Insert your crochet hook, grab the yarn, come out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Second crochet, you're gonna go into the exact same space. Yarn over, go right back into here, grab it, come out, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now go ahead and do two double crochets into every stitch and I'll see you back here. I completed my 28 stitches and now we're gonna close off the row with a double crochet like we did in row one. So insert your crochet hook into the first double crochet here, grab the yarn, come out and thread through the first loop there. And now we're closed. For row three, we're gonna do a half double crochet in every stitch. So let's start with a chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna go into the first stitch, yarn over, go in here, grab the yarn, come out, and we're gonna pull through all three stitches. So yarn over, and then pull through. It might be hard to get through this last one, so just, let's see, work it through, and you can come out. There you go. Now we're gonna do a half double crochet in every stitch. When you get over here, you should have 28 stitches. 28 half double crochets are done, and you should get kind of like this cupping shape on your scrubber. So to close off, this row three, we're gonna do the same thing, a slip stitch into that first half double crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over or grab the yarn, pull out and pull out. And there you go, row three is now closed. Let's do a chain two, one, two, and that is to close off and not the end of your scrubber. And then we're gonna get some scissors, cut it off, and then you're gonna pull through like that. To finish this all off to complete this, we're gonna pull this really tight so it creates a knot, just like that. And then the other thing you're gonna do is this tail yarn you had in this middle, we're gonna pull this to bring this circle closed. So when you close it, pull it, you see how it completely closes off that middle circle right there. So everything's done. You're gonna actually weave in these two tail ends. This one, you don't have to do as much, probably a stitch one or two stitches, just weaving in through here because we've already crocheted around this. This tail end, just weave it through multiple places right here. And that's it, once you're done, everything's woven in, this is what it should look like. So now let's move on to the other yarns. The next yarn is the Red Heart Scrubby Sparkle Yarn. Now I actually use a double strand when I crochet this, because I found when I used one, one uh, strand of yarn, it was way too thin and using two strands actually gives it a nice bulk and a weight. So you can use two balls of yarn if you like, that's what I'm doing here. Or if you wanna just have use one, you can use the uh, both tail ends if you can find them. Sometimes I have a really hard time 
finding just even one side of where the yarn starts. So I do use two. So we're gonna start with row three because rows one and two are exactly the same thing as the Scrubology Scrub It yarn. So instead of doing a half double crochet for row three, we're actually gonna, just gonna do a double crochet, one in every stitch. So start with a chain three, one, two, three, and then a double crochet in every stitch and at the end you will have 28 double crochets. So I'm halfway done with crocheting my row three and at this point I want to briefly talk about one of the cons about this yarn. So because of these fuzzies it's sometimes very hard to see where your stitches are so and some of you might have already come across this and gotten really frustrated. Depending on the color like this color pink is not as bad. You can actually see where the top stitches are. But for example, a color like this, which is actually my favorite color for this dish scrubber, it's virtually impossible to see where the stitches are because the color of the fuzzies are almost an exact match to the yarn. In this case, if you can't see where the stitches are to go into them with a crochet hook, it's totally okay to crochet into these middle spaces. And this will be more on feel because you could feel where these spaces are. So instead of going in right here where the top of the stitch is, just go into this space and then you can crochet just like that. And that's okay. You can't see it. It turns out to be exactly the same thing. So if you're having a hard time with a stitch, do it this way. I completed my 28 double crochets for row three, and now I'm ready to close off row three with a slip stitch. Like I said, if you can't see where the top of that stitch, the first double crochet is, like I, I just go into this space right here. It doesn't matter. Slip stitch right into that space. And then you are done. We're gonna chain two, one, two, Cut off your yarn and then pull through, pull to create that double knot and you're done. I already did it here, but you can pull this to close your circle and then weave them in. Again, we crocheted around this area, so maybe just a couple of stitches here and there are fine. Weave this in, down here and you are done. Let's move on to the next yarn. Our last yarn is the Lion's Brand Stitch Soak Scrub Yarn. This is very thin compared to the other two yarns. So when we did rows one and two, which is exactly the same as the other two yarns, it's a lot smaller. So row three, we actually have to do an increase, but instead of increasing with every stitch, we're gonna do an increase in every other stitch. So we are doing a double crochet for row three. So let's start with a chain three. One, two, three. So that counts as your first double crochet. We're gonna do a double crochet into that space right at the base. And you know, this yarn is actually kind of hard to see. And so I actually messed up a lot in the beginning. So now for the next stitch, we're gonna do just do one double crochet. And in the next stitch, we're gonna do two double crochets. Yarn over. You know what? Look, it's so hard to see where your stitches are. So sometimes when you spread it apart like this, it's easier to see. So right in there, complete your double crochet and then another double crochet exactly in the same spot. There you go. And then the next stitch, you'll just do one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, double crochet, two double crochets. So you finish that and at the end, you should have 42 stitches. So I'll see you at the end. I completed my 42 double crochets 
I did a slip stitch into the first double crochet there to close up the row. Now, when you do just one layer with this yarn, I feel like it's just way too thin and I really want a double layer, just like I did with the Red Heart Scrubby Sparkle yarn. But when I tried to crochet this using two strands, it was a hot mess. This yarn is very stretchy, and when you crochet, the yarn actually twists as you keep doing this motion. So the two yarns kept intertwining, and it was just, it was not pretty. And I consider myself a pretty decent crocheter and I just couldn't deal with it. So the best method is to crochet two of these circles and then stack them on top together and then bind, bind them together at the end. So here I already have one layer that I did. So you know the yarn you had here at the center and the yarn here you have at the end? I like to tie them together just like this so it's out of the way. So to give you a better visual. I tie them together right there. So the second circle that you crochet, do not do the chain two and cut off. Keep it on your crochet hook, just like this. So the side that you tie together, this is gonna be on the inner side. So this is gonna just be the outside. You stack this on top of this together. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a single crochet and you're going to go across the entire edge of this scrubby. Now there are 42 stitches. It'd be ideal if you could do 42 single crochets across here and meet here. But you know what? It's very hard to see again. So if you have 41 or 40 or if you end up doing 44 stitches, hey, that's all right with me. No one can tell. So once you stack them on this together, you're gonna keep this and you're just gonna find a starting point. It doesn't matter where. And you just insert your crochet hook and make sure you're grasping both layers. Go through here like this. Grab the yarn, come out, yarn over, pull through both loops, just like that. And then you're gonna move on to the next one. Just kind of feel where your crochet hook goes in. There, I'm through both layers. I'm gonna grab this, come out, yarn over, pull through two loops. Keep going all around here till you get back here. I've now completed my single crochet across all the stitches and I'm back to my starting point. I'm just going to do a slip stitch again through that first crochet and I am done just let's do a chain two like we did with all the others we're gonna cut off the end of the yarn pull it through pull on this to secure that knot and you're done we just want to weave in this end anywhere in here and you have your nice scrubber. So here are the three completed scrubbies and now I want to go over four different points with these yarns. First is the ease of crocheting. How does it lather? How does it clean? And how well does it dry? So those four points because those were important to me. So let's start with the scrubology yarn. How does it crochet? Very well, the best out of these three yarns. It's very sturdy, it holds its shape. As you can see, it's a very, very nicely shaped scrubby. And the stitches are really easy to see compared to these two when you crochet it. How does it lather? That one, it was just okay. It lathered well in the beginning, but as I went on with my dishwashing session, it was losing its lather, so I had to reapply dishwashing soap, and you know, that's never ideal when you have to do that. How does it clean? Great. This got all the grime off my dishes, so I was pleasantly pleased. How does it dry? That I had the most issue with this yarn because the next day when I checked it, it was still damp, and I don't like my scrubbies staying damp for that prolonged period of time. So this one, the Red Heart, 
the scrubby sparkle yarn, the ease of crocheting. You do have to do two strands at a time, so that might be a little hard for you, but it, it wasn't a very big deal. This one, um, the fringe or the fuzz that's on this yarn kept it from coming, you know, moving through my hand easily. It kept getting caught up in my uh, palm and in my finger, so I had to keep pulling the yarn every time that I crocheted it. But if you can get over that fact, the crocheting part of it was not a big deal. How does it uh, lather? Very well. I put a little bit of soap here, kept its lather through my whole dishwashing uh, session, so no problems there. How does it clean? Great. I feel like the fuzzies really get into the, the grime and uh, whatever is left on your dishes, so I had no problem with how well it cleans. The drying part, not bad at all. I checked the next day because usually um, I was using these at, at night. Um, it was completely dry the next day, so I have no issues with this. So let's move on to this yarn. It's the Lions brand, the Stitch Soak and Scrub yarn. <sighs> so I'm sighing because this one was the hardest yarn to use out of these three. The yarn is very stretchy and elastic, so if you don't keep your tension consistent, it's gonna be really hard because uh, this yarn was a hot mess. You know, I, I said during the video that I tried to do two strands at once so I can get that double layer and that didn't work. So using one strand, um, you know, it's gonna take you a lot longer to make one of these than these two. So that I didn't like. Um, the lather, so this is where the dilemma starts because the lather was amazing on this one compared to these two, amazing. And it held its lather through the whole washing session. And like when I used this one, I had like a bunch of pots and pans and I had a lot of dishes that night. And this one, the lather held up amazingly well. It cleaned well too. It got everything off the dishes and I was just kind of amazed. Um, drying, dry the fastest out of these three. I literally did this and I checked back, I think a couple hours later, and it was dry, it was amazing. I Probably because of the nature of this yarn and how many holes it has, that's probably why it dried so fast. So that's my dilemma. I hated crocheting this, but the rest of the properties, it, did, it outperformed these two. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. Actually, my favorite out of the three, considering all the points, was this one. This one was my winner. I mean, it was a little bit harder to crochet with the two strands and it not flowing through my hands very well, but all things else, this one I felt performed the best. So if you wanna try all three, that's totally up to you, but um, I'm gonna recommend this one. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like this video, please like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Crafting With You.